feet moving. It is aerobics old style time. It's one of the best workouts around town, around Sydney town, around the whole world. Hello world, how are you today? Hope you're feeling fantastic in London, across the world, America, Asia, Europe. We're there with you right now for your workout. Today's workout is going to be a total body workout. And we're going to start off with just some marching. Right leg, there it is. Got to find that beat again. Start up with the marching. We'll do a little bit of low impact work during the warm up phase. We're going to do some leg concentration work and also talk about back care today, which might mean a little bit of abdominal work and some stretching. Take your feet wider right now. Then down to the knees. Really push those legs and lift the knees up. Four and three and two. Bring your feet back in together again. Keep the chest high. That's it. Push your arms, push your legs. Four, three, two. Everybody wide four times. Down four, three, two, and in. Bring it in. That's it. Take it out. Bring it back in. Two more times. Let's go. Right down. And in. One more time. Right out. And in. Give me a heel tap. Straight ahead. Push out. Heel and press. Heel and press. You're getting your arms into the routine now. That's it. Everybody, side. Tap. Take it wide. Open and close. Stretching out through your pectorals. Working through the shoulders. And then take the leg behind you for a push back. For the arms, reach for the roof. That's it. Four more. You got four. Three. Marching feet together. Let's go. In and out. Let's try that again. Bring it in. And out. Two more times. Bring it in. And out. Get down low. One more time. Bring it in. We're going straight back into heel tabs. Let's go. Heel out. Two. Keep pushing. Four more. Press it out. Four. That's three. Everybody take a side tap. Open out wide. Really wide. Come on. Touch your toe. You got four. Three. Two. And behind. Reach up. Come on. You're really lifting up now. Stretching out. You've got four, three, march on the spot, breathe in, exhale down, one more time, inhale up, exhale down, take your feet wide and squat, down and up, down and up. We want to pump the blood into your legs, so that's the first area we're really going to be working on. Swing it to the right, and the left, that's it, keep swinging, down to the legs, bend and lift, bring it into a leg curl now, take the feet higher right up into your backside. That's working into your hamstring or a muscle group that runs down the back of your thigh. Turn to one side, lift up, push away. Lift up, push away. Oh, this is such a beautiful spot to be working out. We're down in Sydney Harbour, Hickson Road Reserve down the rocks. Got a beautiful breeze blowing. Fantastic. Come and join us sometime. Four and three. Look at the back leg now. Just going to be heel raise up and down. Lift the heel and lower. Lift the heel and lower. So you're working through that back heel. Keep it down now. Take your stretch right there. You're pushing your heel down, leaning your body slightly forward. Now sometimes you can have your hips in an open position. I really don't want that open position. Make sure that your hips are square. So you're really square, getting a great stretch of your calf. Okay, swing to the left and the right. Take it across. Four, three, add the leg curl, curl up into your butt. Squeeze it up, a little bit more hamstring work. Four more. Out four and three, turning around to the other side. Let's go. Reach up, pull back. Inhale, exhale. So this is basically a very simple form of low impact exercise. It's not really choreographed, but it's getting your body moving, elevating your heart rate and warming your body up. Get the back leg working now. Heel down, elevate and lower. Inhale, exhale. Stretch it out, come on, nearly there. That's it, two more, one more. Keep the back heel down, just lean forward. Body's way forward, the heels pushing down. Remember what I said about those hips. Square your hips off, have them parallel. Lean forward and you'll really feel the stretch increase. That's great. Into the middle, knees out. Drop one shoulder down, push your knees back. Up and over the other side, gently press. Drop it down. Same thing again, over you go. Breathing out. And one more time, push the knees back. Relax down. Take a body roll down. Pose it straight ahead. And roll up. Did you see that? I shifted my toes. They're pointing more ahead now. Helps you to keep your balance. Roll down. Roll up. One more. Taking it down. And marching right leg, left leg. Let's go. Right leg. You've warmed your body up. You're getting your feet moving. Like I said, we're going to be concentrating into legs today. But it's still important to have good footwear. You wear good shoes when you're working out. It'll give you the support that you need so you won't get wobbly to your ankles. Four more. Come on. Four. And three. Okay, guys. Forward and back. Forward, two, three, and back. You can feel your body moving just a little bit more now. What's that gonna do? Elevate the heart rate, warm the body right up. Come on, travel a bit further. Start to pump the blood down into the legs. 
Anybody can march. It doesn't really take much coordination to march. The hardest thing is actually clapping at the same time. On the floor. That's it. But it's not so important, is it? Keep your feet moving. Make sure you've got those shoes on. We're coming back with the leg part of our workout. See you soon. Did you keep your feet moving? Actually, June and I were busy having a chat. We forgot to keep our feet moving. Isn't that terrible? I mean, oh, you didn't. You, we were not talking. She was not standing there marching. She just told a great big fib and said, I did. We actually had a little tiny chat, but we're back into things now. We're talk we were talking about yoga, and yoga ties in with the back care stuff that we've been talking about. Nowadays, people are really getting into this mind-body sort of stuff, and yoga is the yoking together of mind and body. It combines not only stretching movements, but also strengthening movements. Right now, let's do some strengthening work for the legs, squat down, and lift. So yoga is a fantastic workout for anybody. You can get all different fitness levels in the same class, because they take you from an easy position gradually into harder positions. What you find is that your body starts to become more mobile, you become more controlled with your movements, and you stand much straighter. That's it. Right now, concentrate into the abdominals. We remind you about those all the time, but later on I'm going to show you an exercise that will teach your abdominals to stay pulled in tight and flat, so long as you practice that exercise religiously. That's coming up later. Sit down and push. Down and push. Work through those legs. Four more times. You sit right down in that chair. Come on. No shortcuts. Push down and lift. Let's go for seven pulses at the bottom. Seven, six, five, four. I need my arms out for balance. You put your arms wherever you're comfortable. Let's go again. Seven, six, five, four. Come on, sit right down. Two, try it again. One more time for me. Down, seven, six, five, four, three, two, three down the middle. Let's go three, down, three, two, one. And lift, down, three, two, singles, everybody, let's go. Sit down, push under. Sit down, push under. You breathe out as you come up, you tuck your bottom underneath, four more. Down four, and lift. Down three, and lift. One more time. Fantastic, turn around into the lunging position right now. Lift the back heel off the ground. Tuck the pelvis under, keep the chest up nice and high. Three counts going down. Three, two, one, push up. So using power of your legs to push you back up again. Ready? Squeeze up. Down. One, two, three, and squeeze. Get right to the bottom if you can with that back knee. And again, down three, two, one. One more time like that. And we're going to go for single count. Straight down and up. Let's go. Lower, lift. Bend the back knee. Try and lower straight down the center. Keep it going. Four to go. Four, lift. Three, lift. Two, one more time. Okay, turn around the other way. Get the legs ready. Now think about your posture. You lift the back heel in the air. Tuck the pelvis under. Three counts going down now. One, two, three, up. And again, two, three. Concentrate on tucking your bottom under a little bit, pulling the lower stomach flat. Keep it really, really tight. The deepest muscles that you have in your abdominals are your transverse abdominals. When they contract and pull in, actually wrapping around into your lumbar spine so you'll feel tension through your back as well and that'll protect that back down three two here come the singles down and up take it down and up right down to that back knee keep it going four to go four push three right down every time all right give the legs a little shake out how do they feel now you've done some narrow squats you've done some lunges big breath in and out. One more time, breathe in. One of the most important things that you use in yoga is your breathing. Try and take a really big breath. Right up. And slowly open out. One more time, stretch it up. Breathe in, lifting, lifting, lifting. Open out. Great. Take your feet out wider. We're going for wide squats now, toes turned out. Chest up. Sit down on the legs, push through. Sit down, push through. Lower and lift. That's it. Sit down even lower every time. Can you feel the muscles through the inner thigh area stretching? They work and they contract to pull you back up. Squeeze and lift. That's it. Focus on squeezing your inner thighs as you come up. Sit down low. Push. Sit down low and push. Two more. Same rhythm. Seven pulses at the bottom. Down. Seven. Six. Five. Four. 
Three, two, one. Take it again. Get right down the bottom. Come on. Two, three, four, five, six. Now we're going for three counts down. Let's go. Three, two, one. Push up. Three, two. Take it two more times. Come on, team. Let's go. Woo! They're all very quiet. And down, and down. Singles. Come on. Sit down, push. Sit down, push. Two more. One more. And take that great big breath in. Inhale up. Exhale out. Now we're going to keep our feet moving, June and I. When we come back, as I said before, it's a back care routine. Stay tuned. See you soon. June said it's impossible. She cannot stand with bad posture. I want her to stand, stand badly. Sort of bend your knees and slouch. And, you know how people kind of get all round shouldered and all funny? We're going to talk about back care. So June's standing like a... Yeah, one of those. Or the wharfy stand. The wharfy <laughs> stand. We're going to try and fix June's posture now, which of course is perfect. What you have to do, and what you guys are doing right now, and what you guys are doing, stand on two legs, just relax your knees a little bit, and tuck your pelvis under and release. Just practice that a few times. Just under and release. A little tiny pelvic tilt. Not too much, just a little bit. Feel the movement. It's very subtle. She's getting that internal, pulling your belly button in. Now hold that, so it's nice and flat. Yep. Shoulder blades squeezed back and down. And the last thing, bring your chin back a little bit. She's already in line. If you look right now, you've got an ear, shoulder, hip, knee, and ankle. One straight line. And she looks really comfortable and relaxed. You're probably feeling a little bit uncomfortable in that position. But if you practice it and you stand really, really tall, it will help you back. Thanks, June. Practice with the old book on the head trick. It really does help. So here you are right now, standing nice and tall, everything in alignment. Just loosen those hips off, forward and back a little bit, loosen through the back. Now back care not only involves standing correctly, but of course strengthening certain muscles. And the muscles we want to start to strengthen are actually the deep internal muscles of the abdominals. And to do that, what I need you to do is to lie on your face. Lie flat down, we're not standing up anymore. So lie down there, tummies guys, lie flat down. Let's come over to here to Michelle Nicholas. Now, we're lying flat down, you've got the tummy flat down. All you're thinking about now, do you know when you wear a tight pair of pants, they're really, really tight, they're squeezing, and you want to suck your belly button in? Ah, could you see that at all? Could you see that? Relax down again, Michelle. You have to get a really good close up in here of Michelle's tummy. Now I'm going to tell her she's got the tight jeans on, she sucks up. See that lift? Now that's what you're working on, that internal lifting sensation. Try it one more time, you ready? And lift up, you hold that lift and relax down. Fantastic, thanks Michelle. All right, what I need you guys to do now, from that position, you're lying flat down, come up onto your elbows. Next thing, come up onto your knees. You're not gonna have your bottom in the air, you're not gonna have your hips dropping. You're gonna be in a straight line with your waist pulling in really, really tight. And all you have to do is hold that position there, waist in really, really tight, locking out. Now you can be up here with the feet or down here with the feet, it doesn't really matter. But pull your stomach in and try and hold it. If you find you're starting to shake a little bit, it could be because you're laughing, like Michelle, or it could also be that you're working really, really hard into the deep internal muscles, transverse abdominis. So pull them in, four, and three, and two, and one, relax. Whew. Could you feel that one working? You now you've got different levels. Remember, your first level is lying down, just pulling your belly button in and relax. Up and down, pull the belly button in and relax. So you're not doing anything weird with your hips. Just pulling your belly button in and down. The next thing you have to do, elbows down, knees down, suck your stomach in and hold it. Advance people, stretch the legs out. You're in a straight line, you're pulling your stomach in and you're maintaining that position. Your bottom's not in the air, your hips aren't down, you're in a neutral position in the center and you're holding the waist for about 30 seconds. Hold it five, four, three, two, one. Fantastic work. Grab a seat for a second, take a big breath in. And out. Breathe in. And out. So there are new sort of exercises going around for your internal abdominal muscles. Not only do you do sit-ups nowadays, but also those ones. You need to practice maybe three of those about three times a week and holding for about 30 seconds each time to really gain some strength in your stomach muscles and help you with your posture. Let's do some regular abdominal work now, lying back. Ooh, ow, that one hurt. Try it again. Squeezing and lifting. Shoulder blades off the ground. So you're lifting that chest up off the ground. Your knees are bent. You lift the shoulders off the ground and you're shortening. What we're trying to do nowadays is to actually give you exercises that relate to real life. Now you think about it. Honestly, unless you're an aerobics instructor, how many times a day do you actually do this? 
for how many times they usually once when you get out of bed in the morning. So to actually do an exercise that you use realistically, that's the thing on the elbows. When you're standing, when you're pulling your stomach muscles in, protecting your back, that's the best exercise for actually training the muscles for reality. But also to strengthen the muscles a bit more, we can do some crunches. Work the two together. Slow it down, four counts up. Four, three, two, one. Keep going slowly, slowly down. Take it again, four counts up. Slow, one, two, three, four, and down. All right, everybody, feet off the ground, upper and lower. Curl everything into the centre. Lift and lower, work it hard. Squeeze and lift, breathe out. Keep going. We're talking about back here, in case you've only just tuned in. What we're doing is combining strengthening exercises, for example, abdominal curls, which are great for endurance for the stomach muscles and a little bit of strengthening, but also with another exercise. Let's do that exercise again. Roll over, guys, back on the tummies. Lying flat down. Lean on the elbows, pull the stomach muscles in and hold it. You're bracing the stomach muscles, locking out nice and tight. The body's in a straight line. Now you've done the strengthening exercise with the tummy. When we come after this break, we're coming back with the stretching exercises that you need for perfect back care. See you soon. Let's go, guys. Take it up. so important to concentrate on back care, posture and alignment. Don't forget the things we've shown you so far, especially the abdominal strengthening exercises. But to tie in really, really well, just like yoga does, we need to not only combine strength exercises, but also flexibility exercises. So right now, let's take a hip flexor stretch. Turn yourself around to one side, bend your front knee and stretch your back leg out. You're in a calf stretch right now, it's not a hip flexor stretch yet. You lean forward, put a regular pull down the back of the sort of calf area. But to change this stretch into a hip flexor stretch, I need you to bring your body up straight, tuck your pelvis under, really push through, you can even bend your back knee slightly, lift the heel a little bit. You push through and hopefully the stretch has now moved to this area here. Rather than being down the bottom in the calf, you've changed the angle slightly into the hip flexor area. Let's take the stretch down lower now. Bend the back knee, come right down. Lowering the knee, step forward and continue pushing the hip bone forward. And that's when you get another hip flexor stretch as well. So you're actually either doing it standing or kneeling. Some people can't kneel down in their knees. The kneecaps don't cope with it. So you can do a standing version as well. I believe there's even a lying down version. You guys stay there. Keep stretching there, but to do a lying down version, just lying back here. By having that leg straight and pulling this leg in, you start to get a bit of a lengthening through the hip flexor area. Probably not quite as good as standing and kneeling, but you're still getting a nice stretch through that area there. So there are lots of different versions that you can do to get a lengthening and stretching sensation through your hip flexors. The other area, of course, that needs stretching when you're thinking about back care and posture are your hamstrings, the back of the thigh. So come back, turn your toes up and take your chest over the top. Really, really important things to do. If you know that you're suffering from a little bit of back pain, or you know you stand with bad posture, or you sit down a lot of the time, these are stretches that are very, very important for you to practice. So any sort of version of a hamstring stretch. It can be either kneeling as we are now, you can even do standing versions by putting your foot up on a chair, or lying on your back, pulling your leg in towards your chest. Any of those things will do. Stretch out the back of the thigh. Okay, change yourself around, take the other side. Toes up, bottom back. Keep your back really, really flat, your chest out, just leaning over, lengthening. Now, which muscle are we stretching? Hamstrings, don't you forget about that one, that's it. Great, now change it over, forward, push the hip bone through, keep the chest up nice and high, getting the lengthening now over the front of that thigh area, through the hip flexor area, keep your chest up high. If you slouch over, you won't get as good a stretch as if you keep your body up really, really tall. Now from here, pushing all the way to the top, take the calf stretch first of all, you've got the calf thing happening, Heel down, chest forward, and then change the alignment. Chest up, shoulder blades squeeze, pelvis under, and you're now getting your hip flexor stretch. And just stay with that one there. Take some nice big breaths. And exhale down. Whew. Try it again. Big breath in, lift up. And exhale down and relax. So you're shaking out, loosening off the body. Now, not only do you need to concentrate into the lower half of the body when you're stretching and thinking about back care, but also the top part of the body. By taking your arms back, you're either standing in a doorway and leaning through the doorway, or possibly if we go over to June right now and just show you how to do a partner stretch. Turn sideways a little bit, June. That's it. By pulling in this direction here, June's leaning slightly forward, I'm pulling slightly back. You're stretching through the chest area, opening it out, and also stretching through the shoulders. That's great. Remember June was standing with those round shoulders before, that's tight chest muscles. So you learn to sort of stretch them out by doing that stretch. Thanks, June. So remember, you need to not only stretch out 
through the chest area. We also need to open out through the shoulder blades, release the opposite side. That's it. And relax, fantastic. Loosen off the arms, loosen off the legs. And let's practice one more time, good posture and alignment. Your feet are slightly apart. Never stand on one leg or the other leg or hips forward. Standing, dead set in the middle, okay. Standing comfortably, knees relaxed, pelvis under, shoulder blades squeezed, and head lifting up nice and tall. So the line is from your ear, shoulder, hip, knee and ankle. One line going all the way down. Get a friend to stand beside you and see if you can get things lined up. Practice all the exercises like strengthening through here, strengthening through the back muscles, stretching the hip flexors and the hamstrings, and that way you'll be able to stand a lot taller. Take a big breath in right now. Exhale, open out. I hope you feel fantastic. We had a great workout and I hope that you did too. See you for the next workout. Bye for now.